afternoon everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving video. This is going to be test route one and this will probably be my last... Okay, we're not changing lanes. It seems to be doing that more often in the last, this version and the last version. Probably my last video on 69 that hurried up I am gonna be pretty busy for the holidays oh oh yeah by the way this is probably coming out just a few days before uh, Christmas and everything else uh, so happy holidays everyone hope everyone has a fantastic time okay let's see how it does getting on to the exit here turn on the blinker still at an appropriate time that's good Really need this. Cruise unavailable. It freaked out. I bet that's because of the GPS. I wasn't. It was off a little bit before. So okay, it was pressed the accelerator. It's starting to slow down for no reason. Gonna be a disengagement because I wanted to swerve onto the highway, and that's because of navigate on uh, on autopilot. Uh, so version 11 hopefully will fix that because it's not gonna go in between. I had turned the blinker on, did it switch to navigate on autopilot, and did it stop changing lanes? Um, and that's why that happened. And then it, uh, it was not a smooth uh, entrance into the highway uh, once it got on there because of that. Okay, it started breaking for no reason right there. And the GPS, I guess, is off, isn't it? Yeah, it's skipping around. I think that's why we're having some issues this morning, because the GPS is off. with full self-driving the lane changes are much more natural feeling they don't hesitate and as well as you accelerate as you are going into the lane change versus uh, navigating autopilot waits until you have fully committed the change until it starts accelerating that problem uh, it will decelerate much more smoothly for an exit as well as get over at more appropriate times because if you look at this um, merge if you will it's usually much very smooth there's a car coming up behind me that like couldn't ask for any better that is about as good as it gets for a merge. It sped up, it accelerated into the lane change, and then um, did not hesitate at all, even though there was a car coming up behind me, which is now somewhat tailgating me. Uh, that is, we do not want to go there. We're not doing our alternate route, we are doing the test route one. I 
sure why it decided to brake and turn on the, the blinker right there. Unless it's because of the GPS accuracy. It still thinks, like for some reason we're off to the right on the road. I really do think that causes issues. The car just doesn't realize where it is. I've noticed that before and it happens after the car sleeps for a while. Now if I, if I were to go park in a parking lot you know what it you know sleep for like you know 10 minutes and then come back out the GPS would probably be accurate and then look the speed limit changed like 25 for some reason right here it seems like after renavigating well, okay it was but now it's not let's say it was more accurate but yeah it's not Okay, see, it sees this line of stopped cars right here. It needs to slow down sooner. It, it just has to react sooner. I don't think that is a camera limitation. It like if I we were to look at the cruddy uh, dash cam footage, uh, looking forward, we could easily tell there's a block of stopped cars with the, between the brake lights and just a bunch of cars at the stoplight. We can tell they are stopped. In which case, we should be able to start slowing down. I do not think that has anything to do with camera resolution straight as strictly has to do with neural nets and understanding how traffic patterns have work. That was a good turn, seems to be slightly improved from the previous version. Considering it can't see any lanes, it's doing a pretty good job at being able to identify where the lanes are. So this, you can see a yellow line, it looks like it's trying to, it thinks there's a yellow line in the middle of the road, and that's definitely not the case. I think, in which case, if it thought there was a yellow line there, which means that ultimately it thinks I'm driving on the wrong side of the road, or it's okay driving on the wrong side of the road. So it's interesting logic. Okay, let's see how it does at this turn. This is the most complicated turn of the entire drive. Let's see if it makes sure it stays in this lane. It needs to stay in this lane. No, that's wrong. Okay, I'm pressing it through with my pet foot. Okay, it found the correct lane. And it stayed in the correct lane, everyone. That's great. Well, again, a little bit timid in the intersection, but it still, it went through and that's what we wanted to see. Okay, so that was actually an appropriate stop for that yellow. It, um, you would have had to speed up quite a bit to make that work otherwise. Break there seemingly for no reason. There is a guy kind of tailgating me, so. It's kind of annoying when you're already going five over and someone has to tailgate you. I'm like, come on, man. Okay, here's our final turn for the rest of this drive. Overall, I think it did great. Uh, I'd say it's hard to say if it's the best it's ever been. Well, I want to make sure I can successfully make this. It should go now. A little bit slow into the turn, but otherwise it was smooth. Yeah, so everyone, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll reconsider. I think besides obviously the merge on the highway, which I think, I don't know, uh, probably had to do with timing of when I turned on that blinker. Um, otherwise I think that that main turn was the, the big thing and I think this is probably the best it's ever been, again. But that's also do remember that the lines uh, have been repainted on this road, so that has helped us. Uh, if you have questions for me, put them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.
ます。